Hello friends. Well, I finally drank the Benchmade Kool-Aid and have found what is quickly becoming my favorite everyday carry knife. But before we get started, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and like this video. It helps more than you would think. All right. So what we're reviewing here today is the Benchmade tagged out Hunt Series Knife. This is the one in the orange Grivery Scales, number 15535. This is the first model that came out in 2022. Now I've already done a review on the 2023 OD Green with the G10 Scales and the S45 VN Blade. And part number 15536 with the orange thumb studs. And you should know I'm giving this knife away as soon as I hit 1,000 subscribers. So find that video and comment, I want this knife, and make sure you're subscribed in order to win. I went back and purchased the orange handled knife for myself, and I'll be keeping this one while giving the green one away to one of my subscribers. And you should know I have a separate video where I debone this whole five pound chicken with the Hunt series knife. And uh, you can go find that on my playlist if you want to learn how to debone a chicken and see how well the Hunt knife does in processing game. Now the reason I chose this particular model was the lack of the thumb stud. I'm a Spyderco fan and I'm used to the spidey hole. And the thumb stud I think would get in the way when you go to fillet. You can't get as deep into the fillet. You lose about a half inch of the um, the depth of the blade with the thumb stud sticking out. Uh, you know that's a good half of an inch that uh, a depth that you're losing because that would be tearing into the flesh or whatever. And then as far as sharpening, same thing. You know I think the thumb stud just gets in the way. It's not really removable or handily removable. And I'm just a Spider Co fan. I'm used to a certain way. The second reason is I like the orange. I think the visibility is better. If you drop it in the grass, you're going to be a lot easier to find it and pick it up. And I like the, uh, the texture on the handle. This orange grivery has got a nice checkering on it. And versus the OD Green, which has absolutely no checkering, I think the uh, the orange model gives you better traction, especially when you're tearing into a chicken like this. You need all the traction you can get, and you really should go check out the other video where I debone this chicken. Uh, this Hunt Series knife just does a great job. And this knife has the CPN 154 stainless steel with this uh, stone wash finish that just does an awesome job and it's razor sharp out of the box. Alright, so the specs on the knife, the handle's 4.63 inches long. The blade tells you it's a three and a half and three and a point four inch cutting edge. It's got about a one inch deep clip point blade and overall it's right at about a half inch thick. Now this orange model is 2.10 ounces. The green G10 model is 2.80 ounces. So this orange model saves you 0.7 of an ounce. And it's got this uh, deep carry pocket clip that I'm not very happy with. It's a little tight to get in and out of the pocket. I've ordered a Lynch Northwest clip like I put on the Spyderco Military 2. I got a review on this knife. I got a review on the Lynch clips on my playlist. Please go check it out. I think you'll enjoy those videos. Now I bought the uh, the new blacksmith uh, colored Lynch clip for the Benchmade. And I'll post a video on that once I get it installed and post it online so you can see how it looks. Now let me warn you, this uh, Benchmade knife is great in a lot of ways but one thing it's not good at is the fidget factor. The blade is so thin and light it does not drop very good on its own. 
I've lubed it up very well and I've carried it for about two weeks fidgeting with it and it, it's not one I want to drop. Now I got absolutely no play in this thing. I mean the, the lockup is rock solid, no up and down, no side to side play in it. It is, it's nice and, uh, and tight, no movement, but I got to push it down with my finger each time. You know, it, it opens and closes nice and smooth. I have no problem with it at all. I'm not looking for some kind of quick draw knife, you know, here's my knife, look how fast I can pull it. I'm not into that. I want a knife that I can control, can't pull out of my pocket with one hand, do what I got to do, put it back in without cutting myself. And this knife is good at that. Like I said, it is rock solid. There's no movement in this thing. That axis lock does a great job. Jipping up top, very nice. Plenty of traction. And like I said, it's not a knife review unless you compare it with other knives. So let's bring out the fan favorite, the Para 2. Knife I've carried for over 10 years. Very close in size, very close in length. Very close in uh, depth of the blade, but the biggest difference is going to be that belly on that Benchmade. It makes it really nice. That's one thing Spydercos lack is that belly. They're so straight. They're they're good at uh, you know chopping, but not slicing. Not like this Benchmade. Plus, look how thick the uh, Spyderco looks compared to the Benchmade. And that Spyderco is not a thick knife. It's strong, but it is not a very thick blade. That bench made is half the thickness, half the weight. Now here's another knife. This is a ZT0652. All right. Now the only reason I brought it out is because look at the profile, the belly of that blade. They're almost identical. You put them side by side, they're an exact match. Okay. Now the, the only difference is, is when you turn them towards you this way, that ZT is twice as thick. It's not a good slicer. It's got that belly. It's a good skinner. Okay, but it's just too darn thick. That ZT is five point something ounces, ounces compared to two ounces of the uh, Benchmade. All right, so I wanted something else to chop on, so we went out to the Everglades Park and took a look around. Me and the monkeys searching for something to cut on. Came across some sticks that were uh, pretty dried out laying on the ground. Let me tell you, if, if you know what kind of wood this is, Please put it in the comments because this thing was like petrified. I mean, I felt like I was carving on some 10 year aged hickory wood. I mean, it was really uh, some, some, some tough wood, but you know, look how I'm uh, double thumbing that blade on that, that, uh, that bench made. It's, it's just a great knife. I mean, it handled the chicken like nothing but nobody's business. It's, Handling carving this stick like nobody's business. Uh, no hot spots in my hand. It's just a, a great size knife. Three and a half inch blade knife is the perfect size pocket knife in my opinion. Uh, the, the knife has uh, some great jimping up top here. It's not too aggressive, um, but gives you good traction. And um, I think you should get one or you should go check out my video on the uh, OD Green tagged out and try to win that one. Once I hit a thousand subscribers, one of y'all is going to win. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and you could win a uh, OD Green tagged out.